got you, you dick. Oh, uh, oh, you all right? <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get the fuck off me! Uh, I, I thought I was on that guy. Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging. I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Well, I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Nor does Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. To see you. I'm gonna ruin you. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I thought so. Do any of you ladies like wearing clown face? Hey, let me see the city snow. If it's possible, I might be coming immune to boobies. Hey, sorry I'm late. 
Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me, right, huh? Enough! You're... Enough! Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is it. <laughs> well, we have two options. They're both a little uh, <laughs> out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay. Option one: we hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. It's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, brr, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, all right, uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton. The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper, so these better be some safe effing hands. And the second driver's in charge of the train. I don't think we need to hire someone very expensive for this. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Jobs for the Bureau team. We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door. The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douchebag. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need.
Whenever I try and leave, they give me another dance. Trace? Daddy! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy! It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. You can't do it, son. Get yourself out of this mess. Okay, well, how much of my father's money do you think it'll take to get me out of this situation? Here for the magic touch? Good to go. New brakes installed. Look, it's sharp. be like driving on velvet. Best tires on the market. 